Dr. Prashant Sharma and you are watching Medicos Hub. In this video, I am going to discuss an introduction of glandular epithelia and also a classification of exocrine glands based on the shape of the secretory unit and the branching pattern of ducts of glands. A gland is an organ which is having a specialized secretory cells. These secretory cells may be one to many. If there is only single secretory cell, then it is said to be unicellular gland like goblet cells which secrete mucus and the panic cells which secrete the lysozyme enzyme and the defensin molecules. The rest of the glands which are majority of glands are said to be uh, multicellular glands. These glands can also be classified, multicellular glands can also be classified on the basis of presence or absence of ducts. If ducts are there, these are exocrine glands. If ducts are absent, these are endocrine glands. The secretions of these glands are usually liquid in nature. These may be hormones or enzymes or mucus or lipids. In this video, I am going to discuss the classification of types of exocrine glands on the basis of shape of secretory unit and the branching pattern of duct. Now, first of all, we should know what are the terminologies used for classification of glands. This is basically the duct system and this is the secretory unit of gland. Duct system and glands are basically of two types. First one is this that is simple and if the branching is there in the duct system it is said to be compound type. The secretory units are also of two types if these are elongated like this or these may be dilated like a sac. If this type of secretory unit is there, it is said to be tubular. And if this type of secretory unit is there, it is said to be alveolar or even secular, like sac. Now, we'll discuss the types of glands on the basis of these terms. In this, these are four types and these are other another four types. So in this row, we will take the secretory unit to be tubular. And in the lower four columns or this row, second row, we will take the secretory unit as alveolar. And the duct system is simple for 3 and compound for this while simple duct system is for these two and compound for these two now we will draw as duct system is simple for these three so it should be like this and if compound duct system is there it should be like this for these two duct system is simple and for these two the duct system is compound now the secretory unit will draw secretory unit in all these four tubular secretory units are there for example, like this, another type of secretory unit can be this, then branch secretory unit is there, 
and compound is understood that it will be having branch type secretory units now what will be the terminology for all these glands these will be termed as first the duct system is simple and secretory unit is tubular so this type of gland is simple tubular and is found in crypts of liver cun or intestinal glands then here the type of gland will be simple duct system and the secretory unit is coiled tubular such type of gland is found in example will be sweat glands these are coiled tubular type then here again the duct system is simple while the secretory unit is branch tubular the examples are fundic glands of stomach then here the ducts are of compound type and the secretory unit will be termed as tubular these are not written as branch tubular if compound type of duct system is there these are always branch it is understood that these are compound tubular and the examples are duodenal glands that is brunner's gland then here the secretory unit is alveolar here the secretory unit is branch alveolar here the secretory unit is like this and here there is a difference that some secretory units are alveolar while some are tubular so the terminology for such type of gland will be simple is the type of duct system and alveolar is the secretory unit the example of such glands are mucus glands in urethra then this is simple branched alveolar and such glands are mevomian glands related to eyes eyelids these are type of sebaceous glands modified sebaceous glands then this type of gland is said to be duct system is compound and secretory units are alveolar so it is said to be compound alveolar and the example are mammary glands while here the duct system is compound and the secretory units are said to be tubulo alveolar so the gland is compound tubulo alveolar and the example is submandibular salivary gland so this is the classification of exocrine glands on the basis of shape of secretory units and the branching pattern of ducts Hit the like button and share and subscribe our channel to get the latest updates and notifications.